Hi guys, um, I was supposed to do an unboxing video, which I've still got filmed, um, send it today, but I decided to do a rant video instead. Oops. Now a lot of you might say it's because I'm a Starbucks fanboy, but um, you might have seen this article on Sky News about sugar in cafe chains saying that the white chocolate mocha Starbucks drink contains something like 26 um, teaspoons of sugar. Now, it's not just because it's Starbucks, they did cost her as well, but this article infuriates me. Mostly because um, people with basic science knowledge know that milk contains lactose. Now lactose is sugars. I have here a um, nutritional facts about milk. Now whole milk for 100 grams, 100 mil, is 61 calories. It has 5 grams of carbohydrates which is all sugar. Now it it's the lactose that gives milk its sweet taste, so of course anything containing a lot of milk will be full of sugar. Because it mostly is sugar. That's why we give it to babies, so they can get um, energy. Because there's no other carbohydrates that would give energy there. There's a bit of protein, but it's all sugar. It's all sugar. i also like to point out that the drinks that this showed in this article was a Starbucks white chocolate mocha with cream. Now Starbucks are not hiding this fact. You can go on Starbucks and see the nutritional information and it gives it all there. But if you go and look, which um, it also didn't mention in the article that Sky News did, the one that they tested was the whole milk, meaning it contains more milk fats, more milk, more lactose, was the whole milk large size, bigger size they do, with cream. Now, cream is basically milk and sugar. Well, no, sorry, it's um, the cream from milk, which contains more fat and more sugar and extra sugar mixed up. So, of course, and plus um, white chocolate, that's mostly sugar because it's not a real chocolate because it's not made from the cocoa bean or the cacao bean so it's mostly sugar so you've got a sugar syrup a lot of milk because there's only three espresso shots so it's what 75 ml of coffee and then whipped cream on top so of course it's going to contain 20 billion teaspoons of sugar it's made mostly of sugar now another reason why this has annoyed me is because um, you see all these articles coming out on news trying to scare people, saying, oh, bacon will give you cancer and uh, breathing oxygen kills you. It, it's scaremongering. But they're not doing the proper journalist things and telling you everything. Now, I don't know about you, but I've had white chocolate mockers and I love them, but I don't drink them every day. I know as a human being that in order to lose weight and stay fairly healthy I cannot have treats which a white chocolate mocha is it's a treat same with a latte, it's a milky coffee, it's a treat now if you were to get this white chocolate mocha and replace it with skimmed milk and or even soy milk because soy milk doesn't have lactose in it so there's no milk sugars in it but they'll add milk, they'll add sugar to it to make it taste sweeter because soy beans taste like crap no offence but if you replaced it with all the stuff, it would give you less sugar. Same with the I get caramel macchiato, which is um, vanilla syrup, uh, milk, and then shots of espresso, and then caramel drizzle sauce. So if you ask for skimmed milk and um, sugar-free syrup, you've already cut your sugar out there. It's it's just annoying because usually at the end of these articles, if if they've got some journalistic integrity and they're a decent news source, they will say um, 
they will go to like a scientist who says, yes, drink them, but in moderation. We are, we're not, people shouldn't be saying, don't drink this because it turns all this sugar. What they should be saying is, have it in moderation. Have it once a month as a treat. Have it the treat. You know, if, if people can't think for themselves and they think, all oh, right, I used to get that, I know it's not um, good for me, I'm going to stop now. Well, they're obviously idiots. <laughs> and I'm probably going to uh, get someone's back up and I know someone out there if watches this will be a complete dick and say, oh, well, the Starbucks paid tax. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole thing about Starbucks tax. I'm not going to go into it because, to be honest, we don't know the full story. Although some people, oh yeah, they don't pay tax, and nah, 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 blah, blah, blah. But there are companies, UK-based companies, that do not pay any tax at all. Starbucks do pay some tax. But then they'll go to places like Google, who meet with the government and don't pay tax. And the government allows it. So it's... It's uh, Tories for you. What can I say? Um, so, yeah. So my word of the day and the ending to this is by all means have whatever you want but don't get upset if you end up with diabetes and fat if you have them every single day three times a day what people should be saying is have them in moderation have them as a treat you know if you have too many treats that you'll end up like old jimmy see new jimmy has a cheat day sometimes two sometimes three I'll have a cheat day where I just eat whatever I want. And I'm happy with that. You know? It's getting back to the normal eating that's going to be a problem for me, but that's another another video for later. So, Sky News are dickheads. Uh, don't believe everything you read, because newspapers are just trying to sell newspapers and make money. It's a business rather than a news source. Um, that's why I stopped getting newspapers. We used to get the sun every day. Well, going to get the sun, we used to get newspaper every day, but we don't anymore because it's full of bullshit. The actual news that you want to hear about isn't in there. It'll be an article that big, whereas celebrities will be in four pages long. And they'll just they'll just write whatever they want. And they don't have to prove any of it. And it's wrong. There should be some journalistic integrity out there, but there just isn't. Which I hate, so... Um... Yeah, come to Jimmy's news. Jimmy will tell you what to do. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all I've got for now. I can go on, but it'll just be a 10-minute rant video and uh, nobody wants that because I'm getting angry. Um, so, thank you for watching and knock on.